Um, congrats to NC State. They continued playing hard the entire game, fought through a little bit of adversity, came back, made made plays down the stretch. Right? Older guys made good plays down the stretch for them. When the, the turnover or the missed free throw, how much does that just snowball as far as lack of confidence, lack of belief that, that you guys are going to be able to do enough to get out of here? I mean, we got them 28%. They're shooting 22% in the second half. So, like, we had guarded, we had guarded, we had guarded. Our lack of discipline is what got us, right? Like, doing things out of character at the end of the game that we shouldn't have been doing right now. We turned the ball over. Now we're not guarding them in the right way. And those plays kill you. Those plays kill you. It, it's, a, it's a three in the middle of the half when you have a chance to go on a bigger run. It's a, the layup at the end when I can't stay on my feet and just make him score over the top of him instead of jumping and giving him a wide open layup uncontested. I mean, I don't really see them as bigs, right? Like they're tall. But yeah, Kevin's a big. He doesn't really handle the ball. Kerry doesn't really handle the ball. But Tay does. Tay's our secondary ball handler. So he's not a big to us. Um, he's got to make better plays for us. He's got to play with more poise when he has the ball in his hands. But, you know, they're a team. And like the way they guard, they take a lot of things away. They really pressure you. They really do some other things. Like, um, no, I don't, I don't know if it was that lineup. That, that big lineup actually didn't rebound as well. Or like we didn't rebound at all in the second half. It wasn't it wasn't the turnovers at the end. It wasn't the missed free throws at the end. It's the 13 offensive rebounds in the second half to a team that historically is not really good at getting second chance points. So right, they can't they can't get 66 field goal attempts to 47 and expect us to win. Like that's where the game was won. When we came out of the second half and we allowed them to play volleyball on the backboard instead of going and getting the ball with two hands. We're just boxing, simply boxing the guy out. We're switching screens, and we continue to watch, not watch, sorry, because we didn't even turn and look. Let Casey Morsell just run in from the opposite corner and get offensive rebounds or tip it out. And, like, nobody makes any adjustments, right? You can only say something so many times. At some point in time, discipline's got to kick in. And as disciplined as we were the other day, we were not on, the, on today, right? Not enough. Not enough. We were disciplined at times, but not when we needed to be. Right? In, in, in the crucial, in, the, in close games, in conference play, you have to be really, really disciplined to win. And when you're not, this is what happens. Michael, what did this drive do to break NC State's press, and how did that then go on late? I mean, we turned the ball over 13 times the whole game. They pressed for 40 minutes. Like, we usually turn the ball over 17 to 18 times a game, right? Like. It wasn't like JR made a mistake at the end. It wasn't like we were tossing the ball all over the gym. We had 13 turnovers for the game against a team that presses for 40 minutes, one of the best teams in the country that turned the ball over, right? What we did the entire game is what we did at the very end, right? It just happened to go to JR's hands. Maybe one of our other point guards should have went and got it. Maybe they were the one to bring it, but he dribbled it up against a man press. He just should have jump stopped at the end, right? Now he's getting fouled and he's shooting free throws. He's a great free throw shooter. Uh, like, we can go back and look at it, right? Like, this is a game. We should be 2-1 and one in this league. Should be 2-1 and one in this league, right? And now we're going to go back and look at the second half and how we didn't start, right? Guys weren't, like, things that you walk through, out-of-bounds plays that you walk through, and they throw the ball to the big fella there on the block, and we're supposed to be going to double team. We didn't do it one time. The one time we do do it, the, the guy on the bottom is not ready to rotate, and they get a dunk. Like, like. You just have to do your job, simply. That's it. For not for not for 20 minutes, not for 25, not for 30. You do it for 40 minutes, for 40 minutes, because you never know which which thing that happens is the one that breaks your back, and it could happen at 17 minutes on the clock in the second half, and that's the play that breaks your back, and not the one at the end, right? That we're never in that situation if we handle if we come out the right way to start the second half. We're not in this situation, right? I'm, I'm happy when I'm leaving here.
because we started the right way, but we didn't. And they got on that offensive boards, and now we're battling the whole time. Now they're scoring it. Now they're getting free throws because we keep fouling them. They're not a team that gets to the free throw line. They're not a team that gets offensive rebounds. And we allowed them to do that. Now, guess what? They're take, we're taking ball out of bounds. Now we got to handle the press. Now we got to get the ball across court. Now we're up against the shot clock the whole time. When simply if I had to just box my man out and got that rebound, now we could push in transition maybe. Or we're playing a little more clean. So, like, that's the message. Do the job, man. Just do your job. Like, I told you, the Virginia game's over. It doesn't help you at all. It doesn't help you not one bit except in the standings. There, it gives you a win on that side. But, like, you have to move to the next game. And um, uh, we didn't have enough guys that moved to the next game. And we're trying to sub, trying to get more people in, right? Like, try and change it, right? Try and change it somehow. Um, you know, hey, let's give Zona a crack. Hey, let's give Logan, Braden, like, Roper. Like, like, get different guys in and see if they can change the energy, see if they can change the trajectory. But, unfortunately, the tone was set. The tone was set. And, like, they're not able to break it, right? That's the hard thing for dudes coming off the bench is when somebody else allows somebody to get going or feeling good about themselves. Now, those dudes got to come in and play against dudes that are feeling great and that, or that are in a rhythm, that are now, like, going, and they got to try and break their rhythm, and that's not fair to them. It's not fair to them. Like, the dudes that start the half, that start the game, maybe I need to change it, right, because now we're 0 for 2 and start the second half. Right? We were down 7-0 right away against Virginia, and then we started the second half like this. Maybe I need to change the second half lineup to find some dudes that are going to set the tone for the second half and how it's going to be played. So, final question. You've been talking a while. How much did you prepare your fans to beat in the game when you think you're a young I've always believed in us. Always. Right? Like, we're going to guard people. I can tell you that. I don't care who you are. We're going to guard you, man. And, like, I don't know how many points Virginia scored, but now NC State scored 54. Like, we're going to lock in. We're going to guard people. And, and for the most part, we're going to rebound. And if we had rebounded the way that we rebounded every other game this season, we're probably winning this game. But that's the one area that let us down tonight. And we've been a good defensive rebounding team, and that let us down tonight. And now, like, we got to get back to it. We got to find Like, I haven't seen us on the, on the wrong side of a rebound battle in a long time. Maybe Auburn. Maybe Auburn was like, I mean, I'd have to go back and check, but ain't nobody out rebounding us. Like, they're not like this. Um, like, minus five feels like minus 200. We usually win these battles. And even playing the small lineup, whatever. Like, we hit our man and we box out, and that, that let us down tonight.